Oh, so, here's today doing legs with Lisa as per usual. Quite a few people have asked to see more legs with Lisa on more training. So that's what we're going to be doing a little bit more of going forward. Um, have plenty of good questions after the last session. And the way I'm training now has really made me rethink not only my own training, but my training for my clients as well. Utilizing more kind of things like isometrics, more kind of two-stage engagement motions. So like, for example, engaging glutes before driving up the hamstrings. Just things that really make you think about how you're moving it versus just moving it. So that's why you'll notice that we'll have certain cues for things like light hamstring curl, for cues, like things like for calves where you're driving through your big toe versus driving through your little toe. So all little things that you really have to think about to make that movement harder instead of just moving it. And that's the main difference to my training now is, yes, I was moving it before, but I was just moving it. Whereas now I'm really thinking about moving it and not necessarily moving it with the same aggression either because it's so much more, there's so much more to think about, but because I'm thinking about it, I'm getting way more from that movement. So things like glute activation, hamstring activation is so much better and quad activation. Symmetry in my legs is much different now because I'm actually using both legs, whereas before when I was injured, I would just use my right as a dominant leg. So yeah, so things are going well, but if you want to see more stuff like this, then just drop a comment below or DM me on, on Instagram, it's more with my story. Good job, good job. Take a big breath and let's see the little toe side working now. Good. 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 <laughs> the engagement then. There you go. Good. Engage. Keep on it. Keep on it. Keep on him. Good. Nice engagement. Keep on. Tight. Good. 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 Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Let me see those glutes active. Good. Pulling up. Pulling up. Keep active on the glutes. Good. Focus. Up. Focus. This one. Get in it, fire it, fire it, fire it. Good, five, five rhythm on your own. Good job, good job. Busted. Good. And a 15 reps, let's just warm that leg up a bit. Good. Watch him now, smooth. Make sure there's a line and you stay in Smooth it. Smooth in those joints. Good. Lovely. That was nice. Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah. And as we come down, we've thought of lifting the glutes up rather yeah. than just pressing. I want you to think about that for the minute because they say we haven't finished with hamstrings yet. Okay, so you want the hamstrings to be more on a stretch. Okay. So all you're doing is straightening the knee. And as you're straightening the knee, you're thinking of your RDL. Good. That's it. Good. Good job. Nice and smooth. Keep it like that. Think of the back of the leg. Position of the foot. Good. Good. I'll have three more on that one. <coughs> Hamstrings, lovely. Thank you. Come on then. Do you want me nice and upright? Yes, there? please. That's it. Good. Good. Other leg. Ten Ooh. kickbacks, then you curl. Yeah. Bring it away from the pad. There you go. Curl. Good job. Go on, we'll have another one. Curl him up. Up, up. Superb. Other side. So get those kickbacks in. Once the kickbacks are done, keep it on the kickback and start curling it in. 
Good. <coughs> Good. Once he's up, keep him up. Start curling. <coughs> Stay away from the pad. Curl. <coughs> Good job. Stay away from the pad and curl. Good. Go on. Go on. Good job. Good job. Well done. Oh. That's a right kick in a Doing leg extensions, but obviously we all know what a leg extension is for, but I'm utilizing it more today at the moment for the gluten hamstrings. So hopefully you can see Sarah's doing her kickbacks. Um, body is upright. Yeah, that is the whole point. The glute is a very flexible muscle. It allows it to stretch. But also, what you've got to understand, it's a very, very small contraction. You can see the more upright you are, the less movement it is in, it's in the movement, but that's the way it should be. Yes, all right, we can all kick higher, but of course, if we're gonna kick higher by leaning back, it's a waste of time, waste of time. Stand up upright, little kick back. So you can see it's a relatively small movement. But again, very similar to as Sarah did on the lying leg curl, we isolated the glutes, so once the glute was active and fully contracted, then you start to pull the um, heel up to the glute. The intensity in that hamstring is incredible. It's literally like somebody just stabs you in the back of the leg. Yeah, yeah. So of course, again, taking the glutes out, there's no assistance, and it just means the hamstring has to work so much harder, so much harder. The hamstring is such a, a versatile um, group of muscles that you can use them in, in quite a few ways. But doing it like this, again, it's almost like, as we say, it's like doing um, a concentration curl. There's no assistance from anything. So once the glute is active, start curling up and you'll have a really, really good yeah. leg curl. Yeah. Yeah, some people probably look at that and be like, what the fuck? But it makes sense, as you can surely see. Like Some people be like, what a stupid exercise. But it works, and there's sense behind it. And if you can explain this to why you're doing something in a, in a good way, with absolutely used to it, then do it, do you know what I mean? You're not just doing it for the shits and gigs. No, but also I think what it's done, just these little things like that, your physique is proving that every week it's working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of isolation, a little bit more awareness of the muscle group we're working, yeah. um, single leg, all sorts of things. And yes, we're moving still a, a nice amount of weight, but instead of, yeah, we're training like this. Yeah, yeah. And so, in, in fact, even though we may be taking a little bit more weight off than you've done in the past, yeah, because we're taking five or six other muscle groups out. Yeah, actually, the muscle that we're trying to work is working ten times harder. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, lovely. Squeeze. Don't pop it. Squeeze it. <laughs> That's better. Don't pop it. Squeeze that beach ball. Good, that's a good rep. I'll have five more of that one. Squeeze. Once you get to the hand, start squeezing. Good, watch him. Don't pop it. Squeeze. Squeeze it, make it work. Use those heels. Get in the glutes, glutes, glutes. Push, push, good job, good job. Up he comes. 10 kickbacks straight into the Hamstrings on the same leg. Curling. Push him away. Curling. Push it away. Good job. Go on. Go on. Good job. Heels on. Lift the ass up in the air like you just don't care and stretch him out. Lift him up. Right, now as you're lifting, Rotate the knees out, don't move, that's it. Now squeeze those glutes, get in those activations as well. Good. That's it. A nice little stretch, even though we're still active. I'm gonna poo myself in a minute. <laughs> Good. Good job. Take that air in for a little moment. Remember, we cannot create an issue. We don't want an issue. Good job. Two. 
Lovely. Rack it off. Put it into yourself, thank you. Let's see how robust these things really are, is it? I'm dropping the glutes right between the thighs, thighs open wide. Good. Keep that chest up for me. I didn't hear a back tap, did I? Nope. Ah, it's all right then. <laughs> Keep that chest up nice for me. Good, I'll have three more of those. Keep that chest up for me. I can use something hitting. Right. And I can't see no grass touching your ass, so come on. <coughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, has, uh, has your other half got the donkey calf yet? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, you see, I was on a bike yesterday morning. And I've been thinking. All right, oh, go no. on. Go on. Yeah. He said, um, what the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, yeah, I said, yeah, I said, yeah, go on. Um, I was thinking maybe, uh, I was uh, thinking maybe, uh, uh, yeah, I said a donkey calf race. He said, why were you thinking of it? I said, no, fucking Sarah told me shit. <laughs> yeah, what are you thinking of as well? No, Sarah told me. You'll notice I'm, when Sarah's doing a leg press, I'm putting my hand there. Um, some people could argue it's a very short movement. It's um, shorter than we would normally go, but we're very aware that she'd love to go deep sea, right? <laughs> So it just but, um, makes it because it sounds it's Welsh. Yeah, she, she loves to go deep. Does she? she loves it. She loves a bit of deep. <laughs> anyway, but of course the thing is, <laughs> what we're finding is when Sarah gets a bit excited with a leg press, the range of movement can be sometimes a little bit too big, which in turn there's been a couple of little pops in the yeah. past. So I'm very much aware about keeping the rep range right for the movement that I want, but also about keeping her safe. Because the safer she is, the more we're gonna get out of her in the long run. So it's very much, um, I'm being very, very aware that it's about Sarah's rep range. It's what we have to do to get the results we want, causing no injuries or stress to her whatsoever. And that's why I'm doing it. Yeah. Because even in some like leg presses, you'll see a lot of people's like lumbar start to bend. And I, I used to do that. So I think I used to think range of motion was king. And the minute like you start bringing to a certain point of hip flexion, your, your bum just tucks underneath. And that obviously puts a lot of strain through like your lumbar spine or your just spine in general. So just because you've seen it on Instagram, someone going so deep that their like, back just bends, then they're probably putting themselves more at risk. And if you do it yourself more at risk, just to make it look good for the gram. I mean, everyone's different and at the end of the day, you do what you want to do, but with something like this, especially when like quads are involved, you're looking at knee flexion, not necessarily hip flexion. So really the range of motion is, isn't that big as some people would think it is. Plus as well, the more knee flexion you're gonna get, if you're really looking for a large amount of knee flexion, you're just putting yourself at risk of injury. So work within what works for you, work within the safe range of motion for that muscle and you'll still get the same benefits. You just won't be at risk of injury so much. Isn't it? But also, Play your quads. Are they not the biggest I've seen them? Oh yeah, I mean they're the most symmetrical, absolutely. Hundred yeah. percent. So if this was a failing in our ability to produce the muscle that we want, those legs would not look like that. Mm. So mm. certainly, as you say, by keeping you safe, yeah, you're coming in for another session. Yeah, you're investing in it. The leg is, you know, the reward is there in the legs. So yeah, and touch wood, it's been the least injured I've been for years. So. Well, well with that. Yeah, innit? That's it, exactly. <laughs> have you not, again, not noticed it's got lower every it, time? I haven't actually, I've only just noticed. Have you been creeping it down, have you? Yes. Oh, there we go then. See, look at that, look at that. <laughs> Ooh, bird! <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> so now, because obviously my bench is lowest, Good. I want my feet to be nice the lowest, and, and I also and want them to, to touch. I want to feel as if the teardrops are absolutely popping into a 90 degree hole, which we will show in a minute. That's it, breathe in. Good. Push in. It's all muscle work. Good, keep those teardrops tight together. Let them work as a unit. Come on, see if I can get five. It's only five. Push. Good. Top notch. 
up. Good. Come on then, bring yourself in. Down you go. And bring those feet closer together, please. And again. And again. Oh. Right. Down we go. Good. Tiny bit lower. There he is. Keep an eye on the picture. Look at the picture. He stood there. He's just focused. <laughs> oh. Be the man in the picture, you got Oh, you got a short hair. I know one short hair. Turn around, come on. The shit ain't over. When you're down, open the knees more. Good. Focus. Good. That's it. Focus. Keep everything nice. Well done. Open. Show me that extra open at the bottom. Good. Extra open at the bottom. Come on, keep that back tight. Extra open. Good, one more. Open, open, open. Good job, good job. Oh, he makes it look so easy. <laughs> <laughs> he's a fucker, he's always just hanging round, isn't he? Yeah. Years, a uh, piece of shit. These are these are fifties. Pretty much. <laughs> <asking. laughs> so, do you want me just? Do you want me down here or? Not for the moment. Just normal for the moment. Okay. Right. So I want you to split your legs, and I literally want you to just rock back and forth. But I want you to just use your quads. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And. As I said, do it wrong, yeah? Oof. People will put Oof. ridiculous amounts of weight on it. Oof. And literally, just do a leg press. Yeah, we can all leg press ridiculous amounts of fucking weight, but that is not what the glute drive is about, okay? Plus, I didn't, I didn't actually get any glute with that. I just get a doctor, and obviously where I tore my Magnus, it just fires it up. So, so why? Yeah. You know, yeah. why even bother? Yeah. We've got some bikini athletes and things like that that are going under, racking up the bar, putting stupid amounts of weight on it and using it as a leg press, which again, great, but go and do a leg press. So we do this in the manner that the actual muscle, and as I said, always my advice, if you really want to get the best out of a muscle, find out what it does. So as we said, it's a very flexible muscle, but actually active work is very, very small. So it's called a hip thrust, it's called a glute drive, it's not called a leg press. Okay. So you'll notice that Sarah rolls the pelvis underneath and just thrusts the pelvis up. Good. But you can also see that look, she's barely on the back of the machine. But you can see the machine is moving, but it's not just laying back. It's actually just thrusting the hip out, roll the hip under, thrust it up, roll the hip under, thrust it up. That's how you use it. Good, that's it, that's it. Good. Focus three, two, one more. Good job, good job. But also, as we've said, instead of doing this and actually taking all those other movements out, all that weight is just in the glute. Take them down straight, nice and neutral. And really push the knees open as you come up. As I've said many, many times what those hamstrings do, where the connection is and the glute. So as the knees come up, do it. Good. I'll have another one like that. Good, 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 good. Take a breath, stay where you are. Take the heels even further again, back again. Think now. Go on, open. Good. So ah. Get three more like that, please. Ah. Push, push. Ah. There's one. Go on, go on, do it. Ah. Two. Ah. One more, one more. Up, 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 up. Good. Have a little breath. Ready? Take them just a little bit more open. Take one all the way down. Pulse them up then. Up. 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 Don't go down too low. Up. 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 Good. All the way down. Up. Up. 
come on, not too low. Ah. Come on, up, ah. up, ah. all the way down. Ah. Take that left, five pulses and we're done. Up, up, ah. 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 Good ah. job. I like you said, I could probably load that up with plenty of plates, but not get the same compaction. And if you guys have followed me for a while, you'd know that my glutes are notoriously shit, no pun intended, of activating and stuff, because I had quite nice piriformis syndrome in both of them. So my activation was really bad for a long time, until I really, so I had to really focus on them to get them firing. And doing stuff like this, actually moving the way it needs to move, instead of just lugging weight around, is so much better for me. I've done all the heavy stuff, I've built the base, and now it's about refining it and making sure that we're connecting properly to the muscle that we're wanting to use. We're not just moving it from A to B. So that was another leg session in the bag with Alicia. Um, really, really good session today. Obviously you saw we just did a little bit of overall work, um, just kind of starting on calves, then going into hamstrings, then kind of mixing the two into glutes, and then kind of going to going to quads and then back round to glutes to finish off just to show you guys kind of how we approach certain exercises especially things like the hip thrust you would have seen it's obviously very different to what you're normally used to seeing um, when it comes to range of motion and stuff like that but every session with Alicia is like definitely a learning curve for me um, and I do honestly think that learning what I am learning at the moment has been able to put me in a much better position than previously in regards to my physique obviously you would have seen my physique updates on Instagram um, and you know I'm pretty much coming up to my heaviest now with a completely different composition. Uh, my physique itself is so much more symmetrical um, and I'm being able to be much more efficient and effective with my training. So yes, so that's, that was today's session. Obviously a lot of people have asked me about how I approach my leg training with Lisa because it's a little bit different to what I used to do. Um, it's very much about moving weight, um, how we're moving weight instead of just moving weight like I said earlier in the video. So really, really good stuff. Um, and all about thinking about how I pose as well. So a lot of people said, and you would have heard Lisa say it, about putting your posing into your training. It's a very Kai Green-esque quote. Um, but even from you would have seen on the leg press, driving my heels together, that's something I do in my sort of rear poses and my rear lat spreads and stuff like that, or my rear relaxed and stuff like that. So it's very much about putting things into motion when it comes to posing and training and engaging the muscles that need to be engaged. Um, so yeah, really, really good session. Really happy with how things are going. Um, and obviously, you know, got a whole year to grow to just continue growing continue improving um, and I'm really really excited to see what happens in my little quest to get into the O obviously thank you for your support and everything guys I really appreciate it don't forget to follow me on Instagram small 20 like share subscribe all that good stuff to this YouTube channel and if there's anything more that you want to see then just let me know take care guys <laughs>